Welcome back. You can support teachers in Marion County by running a Donut Dash 5K race at 8th Day Distillery on November 2nd. Sounds like a lot of fun. Welcome to Hannah Yeager Bush and Emily Hi. Newberry from Teachers Hello. Treasures to tell Woo. us more. Ladies, how are you doing? Hi, ladies. We are always good. We're always happy to be here. I love what you do at Teachers Treasures. Thank you. This is going to be such a great event. Let's talk about what you do first of all. So, Teachers Treasures, we are a free resource center for educators and school staff in Marion County. Uh, currently, we have 6,000 educators signed up with us, serving 100,000 students. Wow. Uh, so teachers get to come in, they get to come to one of our brick and mortar locations, and they get to shop for all sorts of different types of supplies. Everything from the basics, like markers and pencils, although we don't really have pencils this big normally to give away. <laughs> this um, is, yeah, this is Everybody loves that pencil. It's for big thoughts. Um, but even like <laughs> uh, hygiene items like soap and toothpaste and toothbrushes, yeah. teachers can find that on our shelves because there is a huge need for students yeah. uh, to have those basic supplies to be successful in the classroom. 6,000 exactly. educators mm -hmm. serving 100,000 kids yeah. in Marion County. That's an incredible stat. Yeah. Let's talk about this donut dash because we've All had right. you on in the past to promote yes. this. Yeah. So first of all, what is it? What can people do? Uh, the Donut Dash is a 5K, um, and there's a special donut challenge. So participants can run halfway, eat a dozen donut holes, and then they finish the race. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not as healthy as the stuff you were doing right. before. Right. Yeah, right. It's all about balance. It's, it's all, all about, about balance. Yeah. Moderation. Yeah. Yeah. The actual Donut Dash is going to be March 16th of 2024. Okay. So make sure you register. But we have a special BOGO event coming up next week. Thursday, November 2nd. Cool. Nice. So um, if you come, you, it's $40 for registration. You buy one, get one free. Um, Eighth Day Distillery, if you buy anything there, 20% of the proceeds goes back to Teacher's Treasures to support oh, us, that's which is great. awesome. That's um, amazing. There'll be food, a specialty donut cocktail. That's really good. Um, it'll be a good time. So make sure you guys like come out. That's Aww. fantastic. I love that you made the event fun yeah. so that people oh, yeah. can support this. Well, educators love donuts, and Eighth Day Distillery is known for their gin. So yeah. donuts mm -hmm. and gin, breakfast of champions, Just a great right combo. there. That's what we always say. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> gotta get my D and G. <laughs> gotta, gotta get that donuts and gin. Everybody does. How can people support you guys? Because I know, like you were saying, a lot of times teachers are doing this out of their own pockets, mm -hmm. you know, if they don't know about this resource, yeah. so what can they do? So, um, if you are an educator in Marion County, please reach out to Teachers Treasures. We'll get you signed up, we'll get you taken care of. If you are not an educator in Marion County, if you participate in the Donut Dash, you earn shopping trips. Okay. So, that's our way to work with people in other counties. Um, you could be from Wisconsin and a teacher and come down and do this fundraise oh, and wow. you earn shopping trips with us. The average cart that teachers takes per month each teacher takes five hundred to six hundred dollars worth of product, and then they get to come back wow. next month. So wow. last That's year we fantastic. gave out eleven million dollars worth of school supplies into Marion County schools. That's incredible. That's so, yeah. amazing. I didn't realize the impact and the scope that you guys were oh, yeah. making. I mean, that's fantastic. Yep. Um, and again, since we were founded in two thousand, we've given out close to one hundred million dollars worth of school supplies. Gosh. So people can donate financially. They can donate product. Um, and then they can get involved with really awesome events like this. I know Emily and I would love to see some people next week, and we'd love to see some people in March. The shirts um, are fantastic. The shirts are great. always great. <laughs> Look so at these funny. donuts. This is Emily's running. design, that too. That donut is this just is going so after cool. it. Thanks. The donut is really getting it. It's good. Yeah. He'll be yeah. back this year. The Donut Man always makes another appearance. Oh, perfect. So well, you do not want to miss this. If you want to know more about the event or just ways you can support Teachers Treasures, the website is right there. Ladies, thank you so hey, much. Thanks a lot. Always have fun when we're here. Love having you on. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. Well, it's time to check in with our friends from the Indy Public Library for this week's Indy Now Book Club. That's right. Yeah. We have public service librarians Jordan Hunt and Charlie Kane here to tell us what they have for chess fans in the area. Guys, welcome. Happy to have you. Welcome, guys. You got the cardigan memo. Yeah. Great job. I love that. This is exciting. My kids are getting into chess. And so when I saw this on the show today, I got excited. I love chess. So talk to us about why the uh, public library started a chess club? Well, chess is experiencing a lot of popularity recently. It's gotten very popular over the last several years with movies like The Queen's Gambit yeah. and the rise of online chess and streamers. And a lot of people are playing chess pretty much just online. Okay. Um, and so chess in person is just a different thing. Yeah. You have like another human being across the table from you uh, just to feel their energy. It's just very different. 
And so uh, we started Books and Rooks Chess Club as a, an accessible way for people to be able to play in-person chess. Nice. Uh, right in the heart of downtown Indianapolis at the beautiful Central Library. That's really oh, cool. Oh, love that Jill, location. Jill, do you play chess? Uh, no. Okay. Do you? <laughs> I you should. I, 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 not taught, learn. I taught our kids <laughs> and it's surprising. My husband does, yeah. They're so close to beating me. Really? They're uh, really close. Yeah. I, I wish I could get into it. I, maybe someday. But Charlie, <laughs> maybe in order to get into it, what sort of books about chess does the library have? So the library has over 400 books on chess uh, throughout our catalog. Wow. So we have books that can help you out if you're a beginner player, still trying to figure out how the horsey is supposed to move, <laughs> or uh, if you're an advanced <laughs> player, <laughs> yeah, or if you're an advanced player um, trying to master your rook and pawn end games. Uh -huh. We even have um, books about the history, art, and even like mm -hmm. politics of chess. That's pretty wow. cool. Yeah, and when you mentioned Queen's Gambit, it's uh, yes. an amazing, amazing series. Right. I mean, it's really, really cool to see it come back. This is like an ancient game. Super yeah. ancient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. it's, it's hard, but there's room for the table uh, for everyone. Yes. Uh, let's talk about, so, do you want to go through some of these books that you brought? Yeah, so we have some uh, books explaining the rules to kids here. This is just sort of an example of the kind of stuff we have throughout our catalog. So this is a book explaining the rules for kids. Okay. Um, we have some more intermediate um, books. This is about um, uh, playing the King's Indian, which is a specific uh, defense you play as the black pieces. Okay. Nice. Um, and then we have uh, sort of a chess memoir here. That's an option for people who are interested in the game, but without necessarily going into the rules. Okay. Um, this is a tactics book, so learning specific combinations of moves to try to win. And then for more advanced players, we have some memorable games by the great Magnus Carlsen. Oh yeah, he's a beast. Yeah. Um, so they say he's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's talk about the books and rooks. When does it meet? How can people get involved? Yeah, it's every Monday uh, from 5:30 to 7:30. Okay. We close at eight. So we usually kind of play a little bit closer to 8 o'clock. Yeah. So, uh, and it's completely free. You don't have to register. You don't have to join a club. Uh, cool. It's very accessible. Yeah. If you don't know how to play chess, it's the perfect place to come out and learn how to play chess. Nice. Our members love to teach people, love yeah. to teach newbies. Do so you play with the little clocks? Oh, we yeah. have clocks. Okay. Uh, you don't have to play with a clock. It's yeah. casual chess. Cool. So it's like, you know, it, it, you can be very serious or very casual. It's does, up to you. Does it ever get heated? You know, so, uh, not really, but you, the table. Yeah, you know, no one likes to lose, right? Yeah. We always remember the losses more than the wins. It's so. pretty humiliating when you have to go like that with your king and yeah. just surrender yeah. at the end. Like, that's pretty right. degrading. Especially when it's like a little child. You're yeah. Like seven years old. It's just beating you. Yeah, yeah just crushing right. you. Oh, oh, that's so thank fun. Thank you guys for sharing about this. We know this will help a lot of people who just want to get into yeah. it and try it out. So we have all the information on the screen. If you want to check that out, Books and Rooks Chess Club. Thank Thanks, you guys. guys. That Thanks was really much. fun. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Still to come, we're going to learn all about the Bulldog Beauty Contest that you can attend coming up this weekend. Butler Blue the Third, aka Trip, is here. He's out of retirement. Oh. Look at that guy. Oh, Hi, man. Butler Blue. We'll be right back with him and his human, Evan, in just a couple minutes. We'll be right back.